Hey there, and welcome back. So we need to set up Firebase now um, in order to connect this to the web application. And the first thing is to go to uh, consolefirebasegoogle.com and uh, you need to have a Google account. And then you click on add project. And then it's gonna say, what should the name be here? So we type in Firebase. JavaScript CRUD could be anything so we say continue and then it's gonna ask us if we need Google Analytics for this and there is a lot of uh, handy things that you can use for that to test and you can predict in user behavior and all that stuff uh, we don't need this really for our project right here so we're gonna disable it and then we create the project all right, so now we can see your new project is ready. So we hit the continue button. So now we're taken to the Firebase control panel and we can see that it is not just a database Firebase actually, it's a complete development uh, platform where you have authentication and Cloud Firestore and real-time database. Then you have storage support, you have uh, hosting if you want to host your app there, um, cloud functions and machine learning. But the first thing here is to go to the settings uh, icon here and go to project settings so here we have uh, the settings for our new newly created firebase project we can see if we go down a bit on the page that there are a section called your apps and then we need to select a platform to work with firebase and uh, we're going with the web so we can click on this so then we need to register an app we just say firebase javascript uh, we don't need hosting for this so we're going to register the app and then Firebase is going to tell us that we can copy this to our body tag in the web application and we can also see that we can put this uh, the script tag so we have the dependency for Firebase uh, we can copy that and put this into our uh, web application. So we're gonna put this into our application right here. We have Firebase and uh, it only says Firebase and the app. If we need to use the database or the authentication or something else, we need to provide also uh, another dependency and because we need to use the database, we can type in database. So we have Firebase app, we have Firebase database. Then we have something else called Firebase config where it states the API key and basically the information for our database. So we also need to copy this and it says right here script. We can put this into a script, but we need to have an app.js file where we can put all of our JavaScript in there. So I'm just gonna copy the, uh, the actual JavaScript from there. So we go back here and we create, I'm just gonna open the folder here. I'm gonna create a new file called app.js. Okay, so I'm gonna put this piece of code in there and we're gonna extend on this app.js file just uh, in the next video here. But now we can see that if we go back to the Firebase console, we can continue to the console. And uh, now it has registered that we have a web app uh, with this name and uh, we used all these dependencies okay then we're going to click on real-time database because we can see that uh, it is presenting the how it, how it's working how do i get started uh, if you have a professional app how will it how much will it cost um, and basically some information about how you can how you can work with this so i'm going to hit create database and it will ask me if I need to go in lock mode. And that means that everything has been locked down. We cannot write to the database or anything or in test mode. And right now we will start in test mode because then it's gonna, it will be possible for us to test on this database and it will automatically lock down within 30 days. So we will start up in test mode and uh, you can also write uh, rules, real-time database rules for locking down or restricting access to your database. So we hit enable and it should create the database for us. So we can see here that we have uh, 
and the URL for the database, and we don't have any data yet. Then we have rules, where we can create uh, real-time rules uh, to restrict the database. Um, we're not going to do this right now, but uh, the database should be set up for now. And uh, that's basically it. Then in the next video, we're going to actually work with this database and see if we can start writing some cool JavaScript code so we can create some reviews and save in Firebase. Right, so thanks for watching and I hope you make this work. Bye-bye.